Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Sylvester. Um, it's such a beautiful day out that I thought I would step outside to do today's blog uh, for church renewal. Oh man, uh, well, just in thinking about the book Inside Out uh, from Berquist, uh, very good book, um, it got me thinking a lot about my issue or my problem when it comes to worship in the church. Um, one of the main things that I thought about as I was actually writing the lead paper and reading the book was the fact that um, in order to make my church and worship experience uh, more attractive and attract more people in the church, I'm going to have to seek more opportunities outside of the church and uh, develop more uh, op worship opportunities for um, the people that normally would not consider coming to church is my thought. Um, so for example, um, in the book, they talk a lot about being able to uh, reach out to areas that normally the church would not go to. I think I'm actually a refiner also in thinking about that. Um, so what immediately came to mind was populations of people uh, that the church has shunned out or that the church has normally um, have turned their back on. Um, a couple examples that stuck out to mind was the fact that um, a lot of uh, members of the gay and lesbian community have been shunned from church. Uh, from from my um, from my context of church at the African American church, a lot of members of the gay and lesbian community within the traditional. Baptist tradition have been shunned from the church. Um, they've been um, a lot of the members of those communities feel like they are not inclusive. They don't feel welcome, um, especially if it's made obvious that um, they are part of that community. So uh, I really have a heart for really preaching to all people and preaching to all uh, people that desire worship. I think that it would be um, good if I were to preach sermons that were more inclusive of those communities, more inclusive of people um, that um, feel that they, they've received church hurt, like they've been shunned based off of tradition, um, based off of um, the fact that um, because a particular person doesn't agree with the lifestyle, they've turned their back on these persons. Um, I really want to preach more sermons that's about the, that's about the love of Christ and the love of everyone coming together. The other um, thing I would like to do, well, in thinking about this, the other population I thought about is people outside of African Americans. I, I, I'm seeing that sometimes, um, as you know, the open joke is often that um, Sunday is the most, uh, what is it, the most um, um, prejudiced Sunday time in America where people gather for church. Um, in other words, you know, I wish that our church experience could be more diversified. So uh, one of the uh, areas that um, I've been thinking about in reading the book is how can we make our worship experience so that it's more diversified and appealing to other cultures, whether it be um, the Latino culture or um, even Euro-Americans, uh, how can we um, place more diversity in our church or worship experience um, and so uh, what I what I've been thinking of doing is trying to refine the worship experience where it could be more inclusive of a diverse population so um, in thinking about my problem in the church again I'm trying to figure out how is it I can make um, the worship experience more um, inclusive of people that uh, that really have been scorned or really are not liking the traditional church and that are leaving because of the traditional formal aspect of the worship experience that have been turned off um, by church or scorned by the church itself because it's too formalized. How can I make the worship experience more inclusive of more people um, in that, you know, we can get more people interested in uh, creative portions of worship or just coming to church 
in general. So how can I make the worship experience more creative, more attractive, more um, less formal? Um, not to say that tradition, again, not to say that tradition is bad, but I, I believe that sometimes we allow traditions and um, the program of the worship experience to be a, what the church is. And that's not the church. The church should be free flowing. We should allow the Holy Spirit to reign true. Um, and we should allow an opportunity for all people to come together uh, to have that sacred opportunity to um, to worship God. That's, you know, as I keep reiterating, just like the day of Pentecost, you know, my goal is always in the worship experience to have an opportunity where people can identify with God, however way possible, whether it's through the sermon, whether it's through the, the choir, you know, and so I want to, I'm trying to figure out how, how can I make my, my worship experience more outside of the box, more creative, more attractive, where people aren't, I don't want to say bored, but where tradition really does not turn people off. In reading the book also too, I'm thinking I'm going to have to have uh, more integral meetings that are more inclusive of maybe members that are outside of my church community. Maybe invite them in for open house. And, um, excuse me, I got a cold. Maybe invite them in for open house um, people in the neighborhood and uh, be more intentional about integrating uh, meetings in reference to worship or reference to my church, you know, being more intentional about inviting people who normally wouldn't come to church to the church to understand. Um, a good example of this is uh, recently I was I was uh, doing I was doing some uh, evangelism in my neighborhood and um, I had someone actually tell me, you know, I've been a Catholic all my life. I live across the street from you guys, but I haven't, I've been almost felt embarrassed to go in because I wasn't sure because I'm a Catholic. So this older lady was actually stopping coming to visit our church, which was directly across the street from our home because she said she was a Catholic and she sees the sign that says we're Baptist church. And I right away told her, no, 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 no. You know, don't allow tradition or denomination stop you from a worship experience. Um, because what she said and what some of our neighbors say is that a lot of times they hear us on Sunday, they hear the preaching, they hear it coming out of the church, but they don't know if they feel welcome. Um, so that's 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 a problem sometimes because I got to find a way to assure that all are welcome. I really want to get outside of this traditional black Baptist worship experience. Because I think that once we do. The worship experience will enhance and more people will take opportunities for worship.